according to my BMI, I am obese, and this is what I look like. Let me show you exactly why BMI is one of the most misunderstood numbers in medicine. I weigh about 225 pounds. I'm about six feet tall. My body fat is around 13 to 14%. I strength train, I run, I stay active, and I eat intentionally. But my BMI still labels me as obese. And a lot of people out there are in the exact same situation, especially if you lift weights and carry more muscle. BMI does not know what your weight is made of. It just gives you a category. So let's break it down. BMI was never designed to measure your health, and it wasn't even created by a doctor. Most people don't know this part. And it's why BMI ends up misleading millions of American people every year. BMI was created in the 1800s by a Belgian mathematician named Adolf Ketelet. He wasn't a physician, he wasn't studying disease, and he wasn't analyzing athletes or individuals. He was looking at large population samples and wanted a quick way to categorize groups of people and social trends. So from the beginning, BMI was never meant to judge an individual person's health. Now, there are BMI categories you've probably seen. Under 18.5% is considered underweight. 18.5 to 24.9 is normal. 25 to 29.9 is overweight. In my category, 30 and above is considered obese. But here's the problem. These categories describe your weight relative to your height and nothing more. They don't tell what the weight is made of. They don't tell if you're muscular, if you're lean, if you're carrying visceral fat, which is the dangerous fat around your organs. And this is where BMI misses the mark. You can have a normal BMI and still have high blood sugar, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high amount of visceral fat, and you could be someone who lifts weights and carries more muscle, trains regularly, and BMI might label you as overweight or obese. So what should you look at instead? So if BMI doesn't tell you the whole picture, what should you track instead? Number one, body fat percentage. This tells you what your weight is made of. Number two, your waist circumference. It's an excellent marker for visceral fat. Number three is your strength, your muscle mass and functional ability. Number four, your cardiovascular fitness, things like VO2 max, heart rate, and recovery. Number five, look at your metabolic labs, your A1C, your fasting glucose, triglycerides, APO profile, and number six, your daily habits. How many steps, protein, fiber, sleep, stress, and hydration? These are metrics that reflect your real health, much more so than BMI. And in the next video series, I'm going to build you a health report card.